So in this video, I wanted to talk about my favorite 1.6 millimeter pens. I really like broad, bold pens, and the 1.6 millimeter is about as wide as you could get in a conventional pen. These are relatively rare, not like super hard to find, but you just don't see them that often. Uh, I've had a bunch or most of them at some point or the other. I've kept some, I've tossed some. Some, I will say, are just completely awful. Some are actually pretty good, uh, and one or two are great. So I just wanna do this video to run through them pretty quickly, but there's just not a lot of offerings. And uh, we'll just go through them one by one, and then I'll talk about my favorites at the end. Uh, here's one, this is the Pilot BPS GP. It's the XB, which is something you see a lot. And XB just means extra broad or extra bold. Uh, the, the thing to know is XB doesn't mean, you know, definitively 1.6 or 1.4 or 1.2 or millimeter. It, it's just a term the companies use. So you have to actually check. In this case, it is a 1.6 millimeter from Pilot. And you can see nice, broad ballpoint. And you can see the size of that ball there, clearly rather wide. This pen is fine, definitely not great. Uh, here are the writing samples and you can just kind of pause that if you want and run through it or uh, we'll revert, we'll come back to it now and then. But it's a slow pen, it kind of feels sticky when you're writing with it. Uh, I would not recommend it, but it is interesting that it's available. I have it in the black as well. That's no better and no worse. So these ones are just kind of fine. Don't really see a reason to get them. Uh, probably the worst of the one that's six millimeters that I still own is this Rex Grip. It is just like really slow. It's like you're writing, it's like you're really pushing it. It's very sticky, it does not write well. Uh, the This ballpoint is really old, so it's probably worse than it would be. Uh, but I know some you might be looking for a retractable one that's six millimeter and Pilot is a relatively reliable company. So you grab this and you will be disappointed. So skip the Rex grip, does not write well. Uh, even once it kind of gets going. I've had these, I've, I've had a number of these, so I keep accidentally buying it because it's so cheap and then always not being happy with it. Then we have the Bic Crystal. Uh, this is sold as the Bic Crystal Extra Bold, which is a 1.6 millimeter. And these are super affordable, maybe like 35 cents each, 30 cents each. You don't see them that often, the 1.6 millimeter, but it is uh, it is definitely available and it works pretty well. I know based on previous videos that not everyone likes the crystals, but uh, it's not. It's really like pretty fun to write with in that 1.6 millimeter and you get uh, a nice bold line. Definitely like picks up some junk and like almost all these 1.6 millimeters, it has a slow start that's just sort of common to ballpoints and common to larger ballpoints in particular. The, uh, I like these 1.6s. I think they're, they're kind of fun and uh, quite smooth. Dropped it. So moving on, here we have uh, two pens that seem really different, but they have actually the same refill in it. Uh, this is the Uni Alpha Gel which comes with a uh, refill that's absolute trash, but it is a uh, ballpoint standard type size. So all you have to do is get one of these, any skinny plastic ballpoints, cut it down. You can see here, I, I clearly cut it with uh, an old pair of scissors as opposed to a better mechanism. And I think I put a little bit of tape there just to give it another, uh, you know, mil or two mils, whatever. And then you pop it in here and it is grabbed by a sort of just a, a retention mechanism in the back that just sort of pinches it in place. And this refill I have in here is the Zebra LH 1.6. And this is a big 1.6 millimeter ballpoint refill from Zebra. It sells for like uh, maybe a buck, buck 25, something like that. And it's one of the nicer 1.6 millimeters. Here's the example there, really nice black. Uh, works works great and it could breathe new life into something like this alpha gel 
which is a pen body I really like, but it ships with just a garbage refill. And finding a refill to fit this is not a trivial task. Of course, it's a non-standard length and not everything has the exact right diameter to fit in the uh, mechanism in the back. And lastly is a pen that I've talked about a few times and one I really, really like. This is the Zebra Topley Clip or Tapley Clip, something like that. It's a 1.6 millimeter. And uh, it uses the same refill and the same retention mechanism, as you can see, as the what we just talked about, the Zebra LH that I put in this uni. So you can see here, as I pull this, it's definitely stuck in there. You can pull it out, obviously. And here is it, here's it with the full length make this work in the uni which is clearly a shorter pen all you have to do is push this little guy down without hitting the ink and then chop this down to size I'm not sure if you can quite make this out but you can see zebra lh 1.6 uh seventeen oh eight japan i don't know so the important part of this is not all those models, it's that this is a super smooth 1.6 millimeter and the pen sells for maybe uh, maybe $2, two and change, $2.25. And it's just really nice saturation, better than the Bic even, smoother start than the Bic uh, and a smoother feel. This is just a super smooth pen. Uh, I believe it's a ballpoint, but it writes like a lubricated ballpoint. Uh, which I guess would technically make it a hybrid, but uh, I'm not really sure. Everyone calls it a ballpoint. And this is the, again, the Tapley clip. And even on this really smooth uh, paper from Kikunio, uh it writes really nicely. Have a good line, good saturation. Uh, you know, you see some junk going on over there. And that's just from the, the ballpoint. It's just like a big oily mess and that's just how ballpoints are and you can see if you give it a wipe some junk will come off of the sides uh that comes with the territory with these larger ball ballpoints i wouldn't really say any are better behaved than the rest uh so you just have to find one where you like the ink and you like the color and for me it's all about the smoothness because when something like this rex grip here's the same level of effort you're getting as the tapley clip to get this thing to write, you really need to push on it. And then you get that line, but I really had to push hard. So if that's what you want, you want to really uh, work for it and feel a lot of resistance, then I guess it's your option. But this pen, again, just almost no effort. You get that line, some effort. So, and again, that's the, versus these from the Rex Grip. Uh, I think that about covers it. These are my favorite ballpoint, sorry, my favorite 1.6 millimeter pens. Uh, they're not necessarily have to be ballpoints, but just by definition, they almost always are ballpoints. Uh, my favorite by far is the Tapley Clip. It's available in a refill as well called the Zebra LH, uh, put together with this Alpha Gel. I think it's a great combo even though these things always look a little gross. I do enjoy writing with it if you could deal with a heavier gel grip. And then lastly, if you're in a pinch, there is the, Zebra, the Bic Crystal 1.6 millimeter, which definitely gets the job done and it's quite affordable. The only pen that didn't make it on this list that I wanted to try is the Zebra F301 in a 1.6 millimeter ballpoint. I believe that uses a refill that's very much like this LH, but uh, I'm not 100% positive. So uh, check the notes in a couple of days when I have one of those and I will update. Again, I'm, I'm pretty positive it's the same Zebra refill, just cut down to a smaller size. Uh, and then Zebra has a gel in a larger size, but I'm not quite sure if it's a 1.6 millimeter. Again, I'll clarify that stuff in the comments, but for right now, here are the top three, technically the top two, and uh, definitely avoid 
the other ones like the Rex Grip and the BPS. There's one or two others out there kicking around like from Dong. It's a company called D-O-N-G. It's not good. It's not even like worth keeping for me. And then uh, Stadler has one uh, that I haven't been able to pick up yet, which it's a not easily available. So out of the running. So that's it. Top 1.6 millimeter pens. Thanks for watching.